Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm in here. We're making a project for a friend of mine whose mother in law is retiring. So, this is what it says Never underestimate the difference you can make in the lives you, you touched. Congratulations on your retirement. And it's in walnut, and we cut it on the Glowforge. And the white lettering is because I put paint. Um, so it starts out like this, which I like, but, and I, and I was, when I put the paint on, I noticed it that some of the paint got stuck in some of the nooks and crannies of the actual wood grain, and I just didn't like it, but I don't think it's that noticeable. It, it was fine, you know? So then I had Joe cut me another one. And then whenever you cut on the Glowforge, it is coated, the wood itself is coated with masking tape or this, I don't know if it's masking tape, but then Joe said, why don't we leave the tape on and then put the paint and then peel it? See, like I didn't think of that. So I'm about to do that because all, the only difference is when I do it, like this, I put the paint in there and I wipe it off, the paint gets wiped across all the wood grain lines. So there's a risk that it goes in. So I'll just leave this one aside because he printed me another one. But I did this myself because I know how to do it now. Um, I'm learning. And um, so I'm going to use, I think I want to use light ivory. Let me just grab a piece of just what is this deli paper and I'm just gonna take an old scruffy brush and not really uh, let's see I just I want to do a brush video for you guys too because I just went through and kind of oh perfect look at this guy oh he's nasty looking all right not gonna even use water I'm just gonna use straight paint and I'm gonna kind of use the bristles to push into the lettering now remember, this is coated with a tape, and the tape is there to protect the wood around. I talked about this a little bit. When I wood burn, I can scorch the wood around the burn, so it's called overburn, I think. And this way, by having the, the tape on there, it protects the wood surface around the cut. So all, see all around the edges, you get that halo of burn. I'll come in a little closer. Um, so on the paper, you see that overburn because the laser gets so hot. I'm so excited that Joe thought of this. See, that's a thing, you guys. Like, I am, I'm creative. I believe I am. I mean, I definitely can see things at certain points, but sometimes I don't think of it until someone else points it out to me you know and then I can run with it but meanwhile I'm just pushing this in and I will go away maybe I'll talk about something else why this dries and I'll do a reveal on camera because you know that's very exciting so she saw this on Pinterest and asked me if I could make it and I said well we'll try we'll give it a try and I'll show you what, you know, I'll do the whole, maybe I'll do the whole project for you. It's a little different than um, what my what I usually have been doing. Um, I haven't been wood burning, although I did do a, um, and I think I filmed it, but I just didn't post it. I did the Al-Anon symbol on a piece of wood, on one of my rounds. I burned that, but I haven't added color to it yet. I have been playing around with learning the program, the Glowforge program, so that's kind of taking up a little more of my time. I've been painting projects that are like classes, so I've signed up for some classes. I'll, I'll do a different video about that. Um, Halloween is coming, and um, on cre innovations and in, in creative innovations in painting everyone's been posting their Halloween projects and I just couldn't resist so I definitely oh, all my boys are here so you're gonna hear noises 
um, I definitely uh, get attracted to all those colors of the Halloween projects. I don't know if I want to do a second coat. I think one coat might be plenty. And I'm going to put my fan on and let that dry. I'm going to set it over here. I have a fan right here. And then I also have this Fabri-Tac that I kind of had to turn over. And I don't know if it's going to, um, because this is the project right here. Oopsie. Sorry about that. Okay. It is a box. And then this goes on the front. And then in, oh, let me come up. I'm so sorry. And then inside the box is going to be mason jars. So these aren't ball jars. These are by Kerr. But this is what I found at Michael's, my Michael's. Put those in there, right, in the box. So you can still see part of it. So I'm going to put, and this is like I said, based off, oops, I don't want my fabric tack to be, because I need to have it this way. Anywho, um, it's just been decorated. I'm on camera, are you going for a walk? Okay, good job. I got it, I made it, I did it. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> so I've had this in my stash forever, and it's one of those things that I really just want to make use of it. Like pearls would have looked great, a million different things would have looked great. Now she chose her flowers, and I want to show you these. I think she got them. She got them at Hobby Lobby, but look how cute. So again, this was something she saw on Pinterest, and she just put her own twist on it, but look. This is like a, I don't know what kind of flower, but it's burlap. And then she found a burlap rose. And so we're doing it in each one, I think, or, you know, I'm going to let her figure that out, but I think I'm going to put a piece of greenery and the flowers, and then I'm going to twist them together and maybe I'll tie raffia around them and put them in, you know? So that's gonna be in a minute. But I thought th this would just, with the white, you know, it's gonna look so poppin'. I mean, pearls would look good because she did talk about pearls, but I found this and I think it's gonna look super duper. Like it's just gonna be perfect. So that's what I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac for. And, it, and this especially makes me happy because I'm using things that I have in my stash. And so the raffia, not raffia, the burlap, the lace, the bling, then I'll tie, I think I'm going to tie the, the flowers together with raffia. Like after I wire it together, I'll tie raffia or jute, jute twine or whatever it is around it. And um, we'll be good to go. So, so cool, and this is the thing, like, I know I go from project to pro, like, from craft to craft, right, but it's so, it makes me so happy when I can come back to, because I've done stuff like this, like, look, this is a little, I mean, this was stickers that I used, I used stickers, and then this is fabric, like, so that would even look super cute, right, if you wanted to pink it up, like, there's so many versions but this is just kind of, um, what is it? What's very popular now? That country, I don't know what it's called. Now, this is the only decision I have to make is if do I want it there or do I want it there? And I think I want it there. Although, I should probably have the flowers. I should, I'm going to make the flowers first. So I'm going to go off camera, gather some stuff, and I'll be right back. All right, so I'm not exactly sure that my... Fabri-Tac is the best right now, but this is on here. It's sticking no problem. I just don't, I don't want to give it a tug and really, I decided to put it on the top part. So I'll show you on the, on this one. Um, I was kind of torn between the bottom part, like right here, but then you see the top of the jar. So I decided to just go right there and it's just one of those things. It's like personal preference. So I did two of them. All, and because my Fabri-Tac is not coming out and it's old, so I probably will get more, 
I've just taken a Q-tip and I'm, I'm not a Q-tip, what is this? A toothpick and I'm laying it in in that area where um, the screwy part of the jar is. The screwy part. I also have Gorilla Glue. I mean, I have other glues. It's just my favorite um, when it comes to doing trims and all that stuff. I have a hot glue gun. I've always just loved Fabri-Tac. It is really strong and it's clear. I mean, probably all of the glues dry clear. I don't even know if I'm in the shot because I'm not focusing on the camera at all. So this is what I'm doing today, guys. You know, I think glue guns don't always stick to glass. That's been my experience. Um, for whatever reason, it just pulls off easier. So I'm trying this. And at the moment, it's not the best example of what Fabri-Tac is capable of. But I still feel like, oh gosh, let me get rid of this. Let me get a better piece. It works when I just take a little piece and kind of roll it off. But then you start picking up. We already did. All right. Um, so I think I'm going to throw that out, honestly, and I'll get another, like a smaller bottle, because I, I won't tend to use it. I'm going to start in the back and just press the bling section of this beautiful, and I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby, just because I couldn't resist, and it was probably on sale, like that tends to be when I will indulge in such things, but at the time I was doing a lot more um, assemblage type, type uh, crafts, and then I have my scissors, my fabric scissors, and I'm just going to cut it kind of like right where that uh, bling ends and actually I could go one more of course on camera I'm fudgy and that's it like I'm not gonna get more worked up over it than that I pressed it into place and it is stuck I'm gonna I'm tossing this although yeah I am because you know what if it doesn't hold I'm going to use Gorilla Glue anyway, so, um, yeah, this is so cute. Okay, I want to do the big reveal of the, um, the, the, so I still have that much left. I also, I'm not really loving the way these, um, flowers, so if I leave the stem just as it is and put it in here, I think it's a good height. But they're stiff, so they don't move. I mean, they do kind of move. And I think I pulled off one of the leaves because I think it's just too much. So I'll have to play around with this this, this part first and see how I like it. Like, do I want the, the leaves in the middle or just on one side? And then do I want it drooping over? So that's going to take a minute. So I'm not going to do that on camera. I want to show this though. Let's do the reveal. This is the such the fun part. Okay, so this is pretty dry. I did end up doing another coat while I was off camera. So basically this is what I mean. So on the back, I'm just going to pull it off because where the um, etching was, there are going to be little pieces in, in the holes of the letters of the tape that I have to pull. But basically it just protects the surface I have no thumbnails I don't know why but my thumbnails do not grow they just don't or when or when they do they're so soft that I just like break them all the time because I'm always doing stuff like this <laughs> using them for you know whatever utilitary nails all right so that's what the walnut looks like so let's do it on this side. OMG.
I'm going to try and get it in a one piece. There we go. It actually did bleed under. You know why? Because I am so rough when I do things. I still think it's better than it would have been if I hadn't have left the tape on, so that's a good thing. So, in other words, these little pieces, maybe I'll use my, I can use, maybe I'll use a, a little, because this is tape. See, that's tape too. This is tape with paint on it. But maybe using this, like the stylus, isn't going to make it as scratchy. So I'm just kind of pushing, and it's coming off real easy. Hey, Kirby. What's going on? But it still does seem like I made, so I'm going to get a Q-tip. Where are they? Q-tips, hello. I'm going to dip it in my water. And I'm just going to gently... And because I really let it dry, eh, I still see paint on the surface. That's the problem. I don't want to rub paint all over the place, but I still think it's better than when I did it. Because um, I just brushed paint right on there. But see, there, it is leaving a little residue of paint. I have a baby wipe, too. And then baby wipes tend to have, like, little fuzzies in there. Listen, I tried. It's not working. Maybe the paint is not completely dry yet because I'm still picking it up. See, I can still see the residue. So I think I'll let it dry even more. It still looks pretty though, doesn't it? So I think that's going to look really gorge when I'm done. I'm going to try and hold this. Oh, I'm zoomed in. flowers might be too big. I don't know, but she picked them. So that's why I'm just going to go with it. And we're going to make it work. Alright, you guys, that was it. I just wanted to share. Um, love you. I'll be back with more. Um, I want to do a brush comparison thing. I have a few things I want to tell you about. Alright, that's it. Thanks for watching.